Hey, Mr. Andy. Tell me about this nice car you have here. Oh, thank you. This is a 1973 Thunderbird. Okay. And um, it's in original condition. It's never been restored. It's always been garage kept, and I'm the original owner. I bought it 48 years ago. Okay. It, it, it is what is it? It's a survivor. It has um, a few different options. Uh, the steering wheel has a like a rubber ring inside. That's that's for the horn. Okay. You squeeze the rim, and that's for the horn. Okay. The radio has an eight-track tape player built in it. You still have the eight-track? Yeah, it's right. There. You just push in. Oh man. On the underneath the dial part of the radio. Okay. The tape goes right in there. And this is the original interior. Yep, everything's original. Wow. About everything. That. Oh man. Yep. And um. Was it ever a daily driver? Yeah, my uh, ex-wife used to drive it. Okay. She said we had we drove her for about three years. Okay. Uh, from uh, 73, 76, 77 when the gas crisis hit four, four years. Okay. So it's got about thirty-two or thirty-three thousand miles. That's it. Okay. And uh, then in seventy-seven we bought a Volkswagen, and these were called gas guzzlers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it, you couldn't get anything for them, so I kept it, and I kept it in the garage. And I took care of it, and. Um, so let it me ask you. What, what it is, it's all original. It's body straight as can be. The okay. paint's original, everything. So what was guzzling the gas? Well, well it's a 429. 429. Yeah. Mm. And then, back in the day, they, um, the 460 was the standard motor. Okay. A bigger V. Right. This one here. So how did you get the 429 instead of the 460? Well, we ordered the car and, and there was an option. I can get it with the 429. And um, it came. This was a special order for us. Okay. Back in the day. So you had the option between a 429 and a what? 460. Okay. And what did the 460s come with? It looked like the same engine. Yeah, it's a little bigger. It's a bigger. Yeah, that's all. I thought it this would be fine. I always liked the 429. Well, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. um, I have. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Sure. Um, move you it's not a fast car off the line but straight the body is man anything. yes it looked like it's a it's just so hard to believe that this thing is all original it is it's all original it even has the original exhaust system and brakes oh man was it always garage kept yep mm. okay okay oh and you know what a lot of thing i like you kept the hub caps oh yeah, yeah you kept are... the hub caps yes sir you kept the hub caps oh man that's <laughs> awesome and look, and look at this reflection in the paint. Look at this reflection, and this is original paint. It's 48 years old, yep. 48 year old paint. Yeah, if you look inside, um, you can see in the door jams, you can see the, like the labels. That's all original. Mm hmm. You know, in the seats, the black leather, and. Wow. Well, you really. It's got uh, four ashtrays and four cigarette lines. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Got, Got this one here, yeah. the cigarette lighter. Uh huh. And uh, none of us smoked. Right. And another one back here. Okay. Back here for the back seat. People okay. <laughs> okay. Two, two ashtrays and two cigarette lighters in one door. Yeah, and then there's only one on that side for the for the back passenger, I believe. Okay. But, um, this looks like a big time luxury car. It's a smooth running car. I know it is. Oh man, this is nice. Oh man, the bird. Oh man. And it still has the original um, dealer sticker. That, that was the dealer we bought it from in New Jersey, South Brunswick. South Brunswick, and New Jersey. I didn't want him to put it on the car, but he already did it. Well, you know what? It's good. I'm so happy that you kept it. I'm happy that you kept it. Because it shows originality. They don't make those kind anymore. That's true. I'll show you. Whoa. Now, this is like. You can see under the trunk the directions for the spare. Oh, it's all man. original. Still has the original instructions. Yep, and then you see this star? That's like somebody had stamped it. Yes. When they were at the assembly line. Yep. Oh man, is that the original spare? Yeah, that is. And wow. I use it, but it got worn out. Well, that's what it is. It's, it's a spare for like when you need until so you we, can get your new tire. So what we did is I got tires on it. You know those tires. <laughs> uh huh. The tires last about three years on the car. Okay. And then I bought these Michelin's. They're made in France. Okay. They're, they got to be 45 years old. These tires. Wow. And you can still drive on them. I, I still do. 
still. You still it. drive on these. I hope they hold off, but yeah. That's the second set of tires on the car. Well, that's I tell it. you, if you definitely got your money's worth. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. I am so glad you brought this thing out. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I am but so. My friend uh, Ken Nagy, he told me, Sandy, you can bring bring the Thunderbird, you know. Oh man, bring it all the time. Yeah. Um, are you local? Yeah, I live outside of Bun. Near uh, Lake Royale. Okay. Yeah, you know, near Lewisburg. I'm okay. Okay. And, um, I'll give you some um, flyers about some events. Cool. I leave the hood open or closed? I leave the I, I, leave, I brag on that big block because, look, I'm telling you, and, and this was a New Jersey car? Yes, sir. A New Jersey car? Yeah, yeah. And you say, and y'all have bad weather up there. Oh, we do, yeah. And, and for you to keep this in this kind of shape. One, one of the options was... Um, Factory undercoating. Okay. Okay. Because a lot of those um, Jersey cars, you know, they uh, oh, yeah. they rust out. Yeah. Oh, man. And uh, this is factory right here, the light. Yeah. Up under the hood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh man. <laughs> they were doing it in 73. And I like this um, thing on the air filter that, look, that looks like an oil filter. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why that's there. But that's I like there. it. I like it. Yeah, I like and it. And you can see it from the factory, the stamps. The factory like, stamp. Okay, and all that stuff. Okay. But okay. It's, it's just a, an example in 1972. An example. I like that comment over there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm telling you, I can't remember the last time I saw one of these. A 73. I cannot tell you. You don't see them. You don't see, see them. Anymore. You don't see them. And then, you know, you haven't done anything exotic to it. You, it's, it's still in original condition. Oh, yeah, yeah. Original factory survivor mm -hmm. car. This is just amazing. It made my day. This this oh, is how, this has made my day already. Yeah. This is a power antenna. Yeah, that, Extra. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this real yeah. quick. Okay, in 73, why did you pick this car? Well, we had a 73 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Okay. And it had a 455 motor in Big it. Big block. And uh, it was fast, and it was kind of a nice-looking car, but it was a lemon. And there were so many things that went wrong with it inside. Rattles and things rolling around. So we finally, they couldn't fix it, so we finally got rid of sold the car. And then I said, let's get, try something different. Let's try a Ford product, but let's get okay. something uh, top of the line for it, which was the Thunderbird. This is top of the line. And then I found out that the Thunderbirds and the Lincoln Mark IVs were made in the same factory. They were assembled. This car and the Lincoln Mark IVs were built in the same factory on the same line. Because if I was to look inside, I would think Lincoln as far as luxury a lot of and, and um I, I really appreciate you showing me this car because i've never seen um i didn't know that thunderbird was this luxurious i i had no i had no idea i had no idea i had no idea what else and, and it's got like opera windows it's got yes. these little lights that light up you know, oh man that's yeah leather. yeah but yeah um, so y'all wanted luxury at the time. Yeah, and wanted something good quality, right? Yes. So then what happened in 77, the gas crisis hit. Yeah. With the Ir Iranians and all that stuff, they cut the oil to mm -hmm. the United States. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> these were considered gas guzzlers. Yeah, they were. So my wife and I bought a Volkswagen, a Scirocco. Okay. okay, oh yeah. 77 Scirocco. Oh man, that was a cool car. car. But we didn't want to, I couldn't get rid of this because you couldn't get anything for them. Right. So I said, let's keep the Thunderbird, we'll just keep it in the garage and... And that's what we did. Okay. So, now, <laughs> what did you do to keep it maintained like this? I mean... I it has a cover, like a flannel cover. And you knew to do all that back then. Yeah, and it's always in a garage. So with the yeah. flannel line cover and being garage kept, it's out of the elements. Okay. And then what else I do is so I keep it... Down here in North Carolina, you have a lot of humidity. Yes. And you can get like mildew and yes, stuff. Yes, you do. So I have like a little uh, fan with a heater in there that... I put on the floor to circulate the air through it, and it's on a timer, so it only goes about eight hours a day. Okay. And that keeps the uh, mildew down. Okay. But other than that, nothing really. I just, you know, I, you know, service it, you know, change the oil and stuff, and do the, you know, pack the wheel bearings, and do what I got to do. The brakes are original brakes on it. Okay. 
But there, original brake. <laughs> it's got disc brakes in the front. Which yeah. I didn't even recall that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Back then, the luxury cars did have base brakes. Yeah, so yeah. the brake pads now, they're starting to wear down. Uh, but they're still got meat on them. Wow. You know, so you can tell it didn't have a lot of uh, abuse or anything. No abuse. And it's a posi traction rear. It's got posi rear. A posi rear. Yeah. yeah. And what gear ratio? That I don't Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No big deal. I, don't I mean, know. this is a luxury car. Don't worry about it. So when we ordered this car, it was uh, supposed to be burgundy. Mm hmm. And uh, that's the color we decided to get burgundy with black interior and black top. Okay. And then one day I saw a black Thunderbird go by, and I told my wife, I said, oh, we got to change the color. So while it was in the factory, they were able to change the build color to black. Okay. 